My name is Dr. Kristen Walton. I'm a PhD scientist at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. My PhD is in physiology and I actually study intestinal diseases. And in my research, I work a lot with DNA and RNA and protein, lots of the molecules of cells that you're probably familiar with. Um, today I'm going to show you how to do something that I do a lot when I'm working with DNA, which is load a sample onto a gel and then you can use the gel for electrophoresis. What we're going to do is practice on a pipetting station once and then we'll uh, load a sample onto a gel in a gel box for electrophoresis. So I'll go ahead and seat a tip on the pipette. And here I have the sample I want to load onto the gel. Oftentimes, before you load a sample onto a gel, you actually want to mix it a little bit because some things can settle out to the bottom and you don't want that. You want the sample to be well mixed. And you can do that actually just by pipetting up and down a couple of times. So go ahead and press down to the first friction stop, stick your pipette tip under the surface of the liquid, and go up and down a few times. The last time, go ahead and draw up your sample volume. In this case, we're drawing up 20 microliters. Okay, and now we're going to load it into the pipette station. You can do this however is comfortable for you, but I'm going to show you the way that I usually do it, which is to put the thumb of my free hand on the bottom of the pipette. Position your tip under the buffer, above the well, press down with your thumb to release the sample. The sample is heavy, so it's actually going to sink. Pull the pipette out from the buffer. So notice I still have my thumb down at this point. If you go ahead and pull your thumb up while you're still down there in the well, you're going to draw your sample back up, and again, you're not going to have the right volume of sample in your well. Okay, and go ahead and eject your tip. So now that we've practiced on the pipetting station, we'll go ahead and load a sample onto the gel. Go ahead and get another tip. I'm going to go ahead and mix my sample again. And so I've drawn up my sample volume. Now I'm going to load it onto this gel. This is a little easier for me than the pipetting station to steady my hand because you can actually just put your hand on the back end of the gel box. Position the tip over the top of the well, get it down into the well but below the buffer, push your thumb down to release the sample. And again, don't pull your thumb up until you've pulled the tip out of the buffer so that you leave the sample actually in the well. Go ahead and eject your tip. All right, now it's your turn.